Look at this baby. He's only 650. Oh, I love him. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am in Madison, Indiana at River West Antique Mall. I've never been in here before, but I looked at the reviews online and it had wonderful reviews. So I'm looking forward to going in and see what we can find today. Mark is with me today. Here we go. River West Antique Mall in Madison, Indiana. So these little guys right here are naughty. They're naughty. If you look underneath them, they've got naughty parts. There isn't a tag, but boy, look at this beautiful piece right here. It is $25. It has these like seahorses on them. I'm trying to see. Very unusual. It's made in Austria. I wish it wasn't brown, but I love those seahorses on the edge there. Oh my goodness, look that. There's a doctor holding a baby. I bet this glows. Mark, do you have the keychain? Can't tell. We can't tell. It's $39. There's a butter mold there. Another butter mold there. Elvis and trains. My, look at this baby baby lots of treasures Indiana oh, this is a little it's missing it's um, handle little cup baby can you see how much he is 52 he's so cute he's a cute little baby yeah it is chocolate you can tell underneath okay from the bottom Oh, that's a pretty vase there for $16.50. That's lovely. Oh, this is unusual too. Uh, Monroe County Wayne something. That little box there with that lid. Oh, $17.50. Those are pretty. The other one, the big one's 38, but I like that pink swirly one right there. Oh, and I like him. A little Prixie. I don't know how much he is, but I do like that that um, pink vase. And look at these. He's 10. Oh, he's cute. He's probably he looks like he's occupied Japan. Look at the what are they doing in that cup there, Mark? What's going on there? Playing with a dog? Cause they're all naked. <laughs> Oh, I like him. He's 29, he's Gobel, the little gnome guy. Oh, and there's his little buddy. $59 for the batter bowl. It's Fire King, that's not a bad price. That is a water jug for $75. It will glow like the Dickens. That's a refrigerated um, green jug back there. Got some art glass pieces here. This one is $32. This one's really pretty too with all these like, all these colors on it. It is 40. That. Very pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that donkey. Here I've got some little um, stories. I ran McNally. Um, these are 250. So I might get the, this one is ponies, also 250 cute. Oh, little Trixie stamps her foot on the ground. And then we've got Lassie, it's all, is a tale of tale book. So I'm gonna get these two, but let's see what these um, readers are. This is pretty, uh, cloth could be shown as a pennant or banner but we're gonna look at these my word book the bear on it this is three dollars I'm definitely definitely gonna get this I love the cover of it with this bear 
Here we have progress in spelling. This one's $2. I like that. I respect that they wrote it in pencil. It can easily be erased. Mm, there's not a lot of illustrations in that one. With this one, we've got around green hills. $2. This one will have some illustrations in it. So we're going to get that one as well. And Johnny Up and Johnny Down. This one's also $2. I'm not going to get that one, but I'm going to get these couple readers here. I had seen this tin. It's $12. This little toffee tin here. And I like this little enamel cup here with a, I guess that's a cat. It's made in the USA. It's $4.25. I don't know. I kind of think that that's pretty adorable. I don't, it's not terribly old, but it's pretty cute with this little on top of this nursery scale makes it even cuter. I love this whole display here. I think that's so so nice. Some little cloisonne-esque made in China. It's $4.50 for the dish. I thought this was kind of pretty too. This is $3.50. It's just a little studio piece out of clay. It's got the um, hot air balloons on it. It's kind of pretty. Alright, so I'm going to get these. Let's take another. Oh, see, this they've got all kinds of like little cubbies and things tucked in. And I love ephemera. They do not have baskets, Mark asked. Music for relaxation. And I love ephemera and books. And so I'm looking at some of the things. Our prices seem very fair. There's a bunch of maps in there. But I like looking at all of the ephemera some photographs this is really clever too that they've grouped together some cards and they've wrapped them in that twine people can just pull that off and use it right as a display it's wedding photos five dollars for the wedding photo here is a radio album the dixie four Songs, poems, and pictures. It's just like a little, a music book. And there. Crossings, I always look for readers. There's little Lulu. She's looking very determined to hit those balls. Those golf balls. Oh my gosh, look at the, the dollhouse furniture. Madison, Indiana. That's where we're at. See, here are some more readers I liked. This is uh, a second reader. This one's $15. Oh, it's, this is an antique book. It's got some black and white illustrations. Let's see if we can find the copyright date. Let's see. Copyright 1909. Yeah, this is a beautiful antique book. Here's another spelling. Oh, this is college spelling. Oh, mathematics. Yuck. We don't want mathematics. I mean, some people might like mathematics, but not me. Quiddler. Vintage bird pens, 50 cents each. Oh, I like how they're on their little stand. But, it, oh, some paint brushes. This is $7. Uh, these are really nice to use in displays. This one's also $7. I like that it has the advertisement down there. I'm going to get both of those. I like them. I might keep them. I don't know. What is this? Um, a Union Trust stamp. We've got nails. Car lamps. A lot of people will use these um, Scrabble tile game pieces for assemblages. Babies. There. All right. I'm going to grab these. Here are some vintage shaving brushes. And some of them can be quite valuable, especially the ones that are Bakelite. Um, this one is $5. And sometimes the bristles can be different 
makes. This is a little um, barber paper dispenser. Sanic Metal Barber Shop. Yeah, how much is it? $22, but you do get the brush with it as well. I've sold that on eBay a couple times. Let's see. This is a really nice booth. It's just a bunch of different things. Oh, I'm all I'm looking for things for Easter and Valentine's Day and that sort of thing and I'm not sure. These like cherub looking babies. This one is $5.50. I'm not seeing any maker's mark. And again, that's not normally the things that I buy, so I don't quite know. This is lovely though. Oh my goodness. Let's pull this out. I think that's lovely. This is $12.50 for this print. It's in a replacement frame, but it's just a probably an advertisement photo of some sort. It's beautiful coloring and stuff in it, though. I'm not going to get it today, but it is really nice. Well, that is an interesting way to, dis to display all your jewelry on his hooves. Oh, these are fun. Wow. $85 for the seven glasses with the six... Um, red accents. They have like these little cup. I don't know what you'd call the cozies. <laughs> I don't know. But they have this really fun starburst. But you get that one. And then these. Well, no, you don't get those. You just get these for $85. Oh, these are puppet heads. I have her. So they say these are from the Wizard of Oz. Set of four for $40. I didn't know they were from the Wizard of Oz, but I have that one. The witch one. It says blank. Yeah, it's a blank photo album for 24. These are really cool. There's this one here. These are Victorian little boxes. Um, let's pull this one out and see. It's like early decoupage, right? I don't know if they're hat boxes. They might be hat boxes. I'm not seeing a price on it though. I did see something that caught my eye when I stepped into this booth and it was this. Oh my goodness, it's $65. Isn't that lovely, that condiment set, that pink? It's actually not a bad price. Mm. Oh, and the cranberry. They've got some fun things in this booth. Mark gets a little impatient with me when I find a booth that I'm really just intrigued with. I just want to look at everything. Oh, this is a fun little set here. Seven piece hand painted Greek picture and cups. It's $24. Hand painted made in Greece. Oh, those are beautiful. And look at the picture. Elks on there. That's lovely. Hmm. I kind of like it. I kind of like it in that basket. <laughs> Cracker tin. That's different. Oh, hi, little bunny. You're $26. I have a collection of these that I put up at Easter time. He's cute. I just sold that tin on $16.95. Oh, this booth is 30% off. Some restaurant wear, Syracuse, China. I like it's a double-handled um, sugar bowl. It's $3. And the plate is 2 And it's 30% off. I think that's pretty. Oh, I'm always looking for these. Because I find honey, do honey pots all the time. So I'm probably going to get the little honey dauber. So I can put it in some of the honey bowls. Oh my goodness. A big horn over there. What's this? Hunting license holder. I'm hunting for antiques. Should I get it? Mm. I see some little wooden shakers and I'm kind of partial to these guys. They look a little leprechaunish, don't they? They're $12.95. Here's a foot. I can 
hold your gum. Somebody made this. Anna. Anna made that foot. Where are you from? Your dragonware. Kentucky Dam and Lake dragonware plate for $2. Oh, there's another foot. Did Anna make this foot? She sure did. Anna made the feet. These are fun. These are steering wheel um, knobs. They do pretty well on eBay. How much do they want for you? This one's in pretty rough shape. This one's missing. It's a little, probably had a little ball in there, like a roulette wheel. They want $25 for the pair of those. These are great drawers, desk drawers. People will use them and hang them on their wall and use them as little shelves. They're $15 each. There are so many neat areas to explore. Here's some little Belgium jars. Um, made, I always say, they're made in Belgium. They're $8, so I am going to get those. Unfortunately, oh my goodness, Mark, Tiger. Tiger needs this, Mark. What? Look at that suit. Wow. Tiger, it's got claws. Wow. It's $75. So this booth here is 20% off. And let's see if we can find any. Oh, I see her. This little trinket. She's got her umbrella. Her little lace is a little, a little dingy, but... She's $15. She's kind of cute, so she'd be 20% off. I don't know. Let's see, what else do we got? A pig. We got a light right in our face right here. Oh, he, aw, he's supposed to have legs. He's a little honey, honey um, container too. He would have a lid and he'd have little metal legs, unfortunately. He doesn't have either, and he's six ninety five. A little B. And this is nice too. It's got the flower frog for eight. Here we have some toothpick holders for eight fifty. So we've got amber. Oh, this one's pretty with the daisy. And. Green one's $3.95. I might get those. All right, ooh, looky here, folks. Got some glassware we're going to be looking through. Here is a little um, Moon and Star toothpick holder for $7.95. I really like the color of that. It's like an icy blue. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful too. Mark, do you have the. I don't. I don't know if this glows or not, but I like the shape of it. It's $12.95. No, it does not. I think I might get that. I think that's lovely. I love that shape, that triangular shape. Here's a little blue moon and star. Um, little little trinket tray there. That's probably, I think that's Westmoreland. Yeah, it's 50. Oh my goodness. I've not seen some of these pieces. You know, you see the covered compotes a lot. Um, I'm gonna get those little cards for package toppers. There's a little blue moon and star for 24. Looks, looks, looks like Weller. That's pretty, it's 39. Dogwood basket. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, this is lovely for Easter, this Fenton basket that purpley and green. I wonder how much this is. It's 60. It's not a bad price though, really. It's so pretty. I'm just, oh, I see a piece of carnival. Imperial 7-inch marigold ripple vase is 24. That's such a cute little size, too. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to make some decisions here. This is lovely, too. This art glass vase. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I know I'm definitely gonna get the triangular piece, but 
Let's just take a look and see what all they've got in this booth before. Oh my goodness, look how pretty. It's $29.95. Now, I do not want to ship that, but that's really pretty, especially in the window. It looks really nice the way that they have it displayed all in the window. Oh, look, she's saving up for a boob job. She sure is. Oh, you're cute. Oh, there's your buddy up there, I think. There. Yeah, salt and pepper shaker. I think this is your buddy. I think you've got, you've got a little boobers on your ear. And you've got a crack on your face. That's unfortunate, but pretty cute little fellas. But we're not going to get those. They've got a little too much damage. I have one of these in Jadeite, too. It's $9.95 for the white one. Oh, this is a piece of Fostoria. And this beautiful emerald green. That's lovely. Uh, for 24 I love this too. I love this pottery. It's $24.95. We've got some Sooner glass up here. Fenton basket for 24 You know, I say we're on the looky-loo trip today, but you know, I'm not necessarily looking to buy really anything. We're just kind of exploring and looking up some new places that we've not been. I mean, although I will be buying some things today. There's some Royal Club. Ooh, I like this. Tutti Frutti. That's pretty. I just love how bright, and when you get it up in the light, it has all these beautiful colors in it. And I like the wonkiness of the tip of it. It's pretty. I see this little fella. Look at that little prixie sitting on his basket. He is not a bit happy. He is $3.99. We're going to get him. Don't worry, fella. We're going to take you home. The little monkey sitting next to him is pretty cool, too. He's a bank, I think. Yeah, he's $52. This little bellhop monkey. Oh! <gasps> Her little britches are too big. Look at those. She's dirty. She's $4.95. Who made you? Are you Unita? You're Unita doll. Made in Hong Kong. You're a dirty girl. Oh my gosh, that's a velvet unicorn. Wow, that's pretty magical. So are you. You look like Christ. K R E I S. Yes, you say grandmother figurine. You're not a shaker. She's a grandmother. She's sassy. Oh my gosh, look at look at this little baby. He's $4.99. I don't want him on the I just want the baby. But he's shellacked on this log. My gosh, should I get him, Mark? <laughs> You'll never get him off. But I mean maybe somebody would want him. Or her. She got a little pink bow. No. Right, yeah, and say you look like occupied Japan. Playing your little horn. These look like the twins from uh The Shining. These are pretty. They've got their little dingleberries with them. Oh I see how much are you? You're thirty two. That's cool. For this cat. It's Japan, but boy. That is full retail price there, which is fine. I mean, I'm not, you know, I don't blame you, but I can't do it for resale. What's this? Oh my goodness. Well, we have to, we need to cover that up. Risque ashtray. I don't understand what's going on here. There's a teddy bear and a woman who doesn't have her shirt on and that guy. But it's weird enough that for $4.99, I'm going to get it. Mark found this cutie. Look at the little duck reamer. It's $5. So you, you juice it, and then you pour the juice out of its mouth. So we're going to get that. We'll have to have the, them open this case. But I'm going to see if there's anything else in this case. Like These are Royal Dalton, I believe. They're $19 each. I think she's 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you are, Angel. A little carnival class is neat. These little, what are you doing? This little gobel figurines. Those are cute too. Oh, and I like this um, ornament. It's a little tin ornament from 1980. I might get that. I like that. I think that's cute. And then what's over here? A little bear for eight. A little nappy dish here. It's a, dung, a Dugan for 15. Um, I see a little Fenton vase. We're going to get that. This is lovely too. I'm going to look at that. So there's a couple things I'm going to take a look at in here. Okay, I'm going to be getting into this booth right here, but I love these little pixie guys. They're $19 each, so I can't do that, but I love this measure of cheer. Little statue, I'm gonna look at him. And then the yellow bird here. I'm gonna take a look at a couple more things that are in this case here. I love those totem poles, salt and pepper shakers too. All right, I'm still looking in this booth right here, but I found some treasures. I love this little California pottery skunk. He's cute in this Italian um, poodle liquor bottle. I love this fun fish. Oops, another basket art. This is a cool little hollow bird. I just really liked it. And look at the cow. He's a little cow glass guy and a little pig. So I got these treasures so far, but oh my gosh, this booth is, I, I'm gonna be here a while. Okay, we just walked into this room. We talked to the booth's owners and oh my gosh, this is just, this is my jam. But look, let's see. $8.99, take that to the counter, sir. That's under my $10 threshold, so he doesn't have to take to the counter right now, but um, the bells. Okay. Well, here's Wonder Bed. Wonder, not Wonder Bed. Wonder Bread. Look, save water, drink beer. Lots of salt and pepper shakers. Oh, look, there's corn ones right there. A little corn. Oh, more corn ones. And these little wall pockets. Those are kind of really different. They're the same, $15.99. Child's window, they're made by Napco. And these are fun. Those are Holland salt and boy salt and pepper shakers for $7.99. I like the this little guy too, this Hawaii god of money. He's $12.99. Uh, Michael! I found one of your flowers. It's just got a broken petal. And the nice thing about this booth too is you know that there are some things that are locked in cabinets, but then some things that you can just easily open up and access, which I like. Oh my gosh, I like that man. Can you reach him, Mark? That man right there. I wonder if he's a studio piece. Oh, no, Bally High, Mr. Bally High, now, San Diego, they're California. They're How much is he? 24. 24. He's cool. All right, I see this little guy here. He is an eyeglass holder. He's $9.99, but you see you take your eyeglasses off and then you stick them on there like that and he'll hold your glasses. So I think he's kind of fun. So I think I'm gonna get him and beautiful stained glass window but then I see the little mouse the little sugared mouse he's supposed to have his little family with him but he no longer does um he is um he's R&R &R. he's 1899 uh, I don't know if he had his family with him that would be great this is uh, $30 that's beautiful I've got some fun things in this booth too Look at this console set. The star in this lovely. It's $69.99. You can put all kinds of different nuts and candies in that. This booth is, what was it? 30% off. And I see a few things. These I'm getting. I'm going to get one for me and I'm going to get one to sell. But they're these letter or number, like billboard signs, light up signs, but you can put them in your displays. This is 14 for Valentine's Day. They're $3 each with 30% off. So I'm going to get both of those. And then the little Rand McNally little um, skater book. 
And then this is $10. And it looks very much like my um, tins, my uh, Scotch tape tin. So I'm going to get that as well. In fact, I'm going to use it as a little basket to put these things on the inside here. Here we've got these little handmade hearts. They're $3 each. Aren't they lovely? I'm going to get a couple of those too. They make little nice little fillers. I love the greens. So I might get some for me. I think that they're lovely. They're $3 each and they're 30% off. So I probably will get several. I think that they're so cool. I like this green. All right, so I'm going to get some of these too. 100 years of wedded bliss in that picture. Oh, these are different. Oh, look at him. Hang on. He's a little happy accordion playing boy. He's different, isn't he? That's Chatty Cathy. We have her clothes. We have we have your clothes, girl. You're a little dirty. He's Aladdin. They look like very Aladdin lamp-esque. She's got teeth. Look at that. There's her teeth. That's Chatty Cathy. I have... Oh, yeah. This looks like... um. This is in Nashville, Indiana. I thought it was from Italy. <laughs> Close. Well, it's it is made in Italy. It looks like um, Batosi. Uh, it's made in Italy, but it was sold at the Nugget in Nashville, Indiana. Um, the ch it looks like Batosi to me. It's got a little chip on the handle. It's eighteen dollars, but if it didn't have that chip, I might be. I might be. I might be going for it. It's just Campbell Soup Girl. $22, though. I don't know about that. Mark's making me hurt. That's Hull, H-U-L-L. Because this is, we've got more places that we want to go today, but boy, this is a great place. Oh, this is $5 for that. It's a little... We've been here an hour and a half. I know, but that's a good place. This is a great place. Ooh, that's lovely. Darn it, it's missing stones, though. There's legs in there. Um, there's a Humpty Dumpty lamp behind you, Mark. Mm -hmm. I saw it. Okay. It's just like you just find treasures that you just don't know. It's just, you just have to look at everything. Is this Tennessee? Do we need to get this for Colin? Cherokee pottery. Isn't that Tennessee? Wait, I can't see. That's Tennessee, right? Or is that Kentucky? That's Tennessee. Right. Oh my gosh. Tennessee. Cherokee. Do we need to get that for Colin? He doesn't care. What are you doing, girl? Sitting in that vase. Mark's wanting me to, to not dawdle. I've been dawdling, but there's just so many cool things to see here. So if you are in the um, Madison, Indiana area, absolutely 100% positively come in here. This, oh, I gotta get over here is a little condiment set with the owls well that's adorable well it's a salt and pepper shaker set but then you can also keep other things inside there oh no it's got a big chip right there darn it i don't see the um a price tag on it but I also see something else in the corner of my eye. Oh, I like you, QB. Your composite. $38. We're getting you. You're fun. You also, they're little, I don't know if they're ashtrays or snack trays or what. I want to say that there might be ashtrays and then you pour all the ashtrays, the ashes in that at the end, but you are fun bright and colorful so we are going to get you what else is up here oh i like that pink oh my gosh i can't get to it i've got doll patterns down here but wait before we do that let's look down here do we got anything down here handy joe handy handy andy i don't remember what your name is but um you are eight dollars and you are a great color for this time of year. I want this too. This is a little bit more precarious. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> That's oh, it scared me to death. Let's stand you back up, Dolly. 
Oh, oh my goodness. You look a little bit like Dunine. How much was this coffee canister? $4.50. I think we'll get you two. Oh my gosh, what are those? Anteaters that are getting married. There's interesting things in this booth. It's probably a little bit longer of a video, but... Oh, what's this? This is Lucite Shells Trivet for $3. Hot pad. Oh. It's... Uh, normally I would get it. It's a good, a great price, but it has a lot of chippies down there on it. So I'm not going to get it for that reason. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? A little washer and dryer. Are you Wolverine? Um, made in Japan. No, it's $18.95. That's adorable. So I, I think I'm going to wrap up this video here. We're going to look a little bit further, but everything that I purchased thus far, you have seen me um, buy. So if there's anything that you might be interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I'll let you know if it's still available. And wow, what a fun place. So make sure if you're in the Madison, Indiana area that you do come in here and check them out. So much fun. The prices are great. The staff is wonderful. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and follow along with me on our antique and vintage treasure hunting escapades. So as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Red hot mama, red hot mama, you're the one we need. Red hot mama, some charmer, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the folly. Hot tamales to say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Svengali's. I confess that I possess the sweetest charm.